Hi class, in this lecture here what I want to do is I want to walk you through hypothesis testing for a proportion using the p-value approach. Um, so we're going to rely very heavily on our graphing calculator here. Now if you have a TI-83 or a TI-84, it doesn't matter. Uh, the options will still be the same. Um, but this p-value approach is something that we learned about in previous lectures when we were doing hypothesis testing for a mean. And you know what we plug in in the calculator will be a little different, but ultimately the conclusion we make when we compare the p-value to the level of significance uh, will be the same. All right, so let's jump in. Let's do these two examples. So here's the first one. According to a 2010 uh, Department of Education report, 30% of adults aged 25 years or older had a bachelor's degree or higher. So what we're saying here is that in 2010, okay, so this was 10 years ago, 30% of adults had a bachelor's degree or higher. Fine. Okay, so a researcher wants to conduct a test to see if the proportion of individuals who have a bachelor's degree or higher has increased since then. Okay, so that's a key word right there. That's kind of telling me this is going to be a right-tailed test when I go to set it up. Okay, so I want to test to see if it's gone up. So for whatever reason, maybe in the last 10 years, more people are deciding to go to college. So we just want to see if this claim that it's increased is true. So to conduct the test, the researcher samples, so the researcher samples 1,000 adults aged 25 years or older and finds that 320 of them have a bachelor's degree or higher, okay? Um, this right here is my N, okay? The number of people who have a bachelor's degree or higher, that's my N for this problem. And this 320 right here this is the number of individuals who have a bachelor's degree or higher, so that's my X. Okay. At the 0 0.05 level of significance, is there sufficient evidence to suggest the proportion has increased? Okay, so we learned this method for, for hypothesis testing. So um, let me go through this five-step method for you. <clears throat> okay, so step one. First thing you have to do is you have to set up the test. So we're going to define a proportion, okay? And what our proportion is, the proportion of 25 plus year olds who have a bachelor's or higher. That's just what I'm going to put there. Okay. All right. And this is specifically in 2020. Okay. Because we already know what it was in 2010 here. So we're testing to look for the proportion in 2020. All right, so our null hypothesis will always be a statement of equality. So we will assume that the proportion is the same as it was in 2010 or 30%. And what we're looking to show evidence for here is that like, hey, wait a second, no way, no way. It's, it, it's definitely gone up, it's increased. All right, so step two, select your level of significance. This will always be given to you. It's 0 0.05 in this problem. We'll, in the next problem, we'll do one that's a little bit different. Okay, so now step three and four, the test statistic and the p-value. So we're gonna grab our trusty calculator. You're going to hit the stat button. You're gonna scroll over to tests. And the one you want here is one dash prop z test, right here, one dash prop z test. So it's number five here. So you're gonna to go to number five. You're gonna hit enter. Okay, so now you have to plug stuff in. P sub zero, what this is, is this is the value from your null hypothesis, okay? This is your base assumption. So here it was 0 0.30. Now we go look at our x. What was our x? It was 320. Our n was the 1,000 people they called. And now you have to change this to be this right-tailed test, okay? So I think the value is greater, greater than P sub zero. Okay, that, that's important. I think the value is greater than P sub zero. Okay, so I think it's increased that I have right here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna scroll down to calculate and I'm gonna hit enter again. Okay, this right here, this Z, that's my test statistic. Okay, it's 1.38. Next, you see here it says P is equal to, this is my P value. So it's 0 0.0838 when I round it, okay? All right, so the next thing you have to ask yourself is what is my conclusion? 
right? So there's two conclusions you can make. You can reject the null or you can fail to reject the null. Well, since our p-value here, so since the p-value is greater than the level of significance, what we're seeing here is this 0 0.0838 is greater than 0 0.05. Whenever your p-value is greater than, we fail to reject the null. And what we're saying here is there is no evidence to suggest the proportion has increased since 2010. So there's no, based on this sample here, there's no evidence to suggest that a larger proportion of people uh, age 25 years or older have a bachelor's degree in 2020 than they did in 2010. All right, so recap, calculator, look at your p-value. If your p-value is greater than your level of significance, you fail to reject the null. All right, let's, let's look at a different one. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll form a different conclusion. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so here's a second example. Uh, according to a recent survey from the Department of Labor, 90% of Americans say their daily lives are impacted because of COVID-19. <clears throat> okay, so that's everybody in the United States, okay? So a researcher believes that residents in specifically in North Dakota of all states are less likely to be impacted by COVID-19, okay? And that, I think that makes sense, right? Like, you know, in the Northeast here, um, people are more likely to be impacted because New York City is the hotspot of the, of the virus. So maybe in North Dakota, people are less likely to be, say their daily lives are impacted. Okay, so to test her hypothesis, she randomly samples... 500 individuals, okay, so just right off the bat, that's my N right there, okay, and finds that 375 of them, that's my X, said that their daily lives are impacted because of COVID-19. Now, looking back, what she's saying is, is they're less likely, okay, so that right there tells me this is going to be a left tail test. At the 0 0.01 level of significance now, is there evidence to suggest, um, is there sufficient evidence to suggest that residents in North Dakota are less likely to be impacted by COVID-19? Okay, so got to start. Let's go through it. All right, so step one, we got to set up our test. Well, what proportion are we investigating here? Well, we already know that 90% of all Americans say their daily lives are impacted. So what we're investigating are the proportion of North Dakota residents who say their daily lives are impacted. All right, so we have to start with some base assumption here. So we're gonna assume that North Dakota is just like everybody else, that 90% of people um, are impacted by the virus. And what we're saying is, wait a second, no way. It's North Dakota, it has to be less than 90% of people. Level of significance, this one changed. Here I wanted to do it at the 0 0.01 level of significance. And now once you have this set up, all right, boom, you can go write your calculator. So you're gonna go stat, you're gonna scroll over to tests, and you always want this one dash prop Z test. So you always want number five. All right, so your problem is going to be defaulted to the to whatever you had before. So you have to change it. So what was my value in the null? It was 0 0.90. All right. What was my x? Well, that was 375. My n was 500 people. And now remember here, you have a less than sign. So what you have to do is you have to scroll over here and you have to change it to less than. All right, then you're gonna scroll down now to calculate. And let's see what we got here. Wow, look at this. It's saying my Z, my test statistic is negative 11.18. That's really large. You see this p-value of zero? What that means is you're, it's, it's so close to zero, your graphing calculator can't distinguish it from it, okay? So now you have to ask yourself, um, what's my conclusion? Well, is this p-value less than alpha? Yes. 
since the p-value is less than the level of significance, we're seeing that zero point, this p-value of 0, 0.00 is less than 0 0.01, all right? We reject the null hypothesis here. So what we're saying here is there is evidence to suggest that less than 90% of North Dakota residents have their daily lives impacted by COVID-19. Okay, what we're saying here is North Dakota is less likely to say that they're impacted by COVID-19 than the rest of the country. All right, class, I, uh, I hope this helps. Um, you know, once you get, I think, you know, this is the hardest part, setting up the problem. Um, but once you have that set up, your graphing calculator kind of solves everything for you from there. Okay.